Hi, in this section, we'll see how to install PHP script, Apache web server, and MySQL database. Okay, uh, we need to download VAM server first. Uh, when we search for VAM, keyword VAM, the search engine, we get the result. The first result will be vamserver.com. And when we get inside, we could find a download link here. Okay, this is the file we need to download to install VAM server. And this VAM server is an integrated package of Apache web server, PHP script, and MySQL database. I'm not going to download this now because I already installed them in my PC. And installing them is quite a simple process because Installing VAM server in Windows is just like you are installing any other program in Windows. Okay, once we finish installation, we should be able to get VAM server here in Start All Programs. And we have to start VAM server. Once we finish starting VAM server here in the quick link, we should be able to find them. And this is triple W directory. Okay, this is the local server directory, the directory created by default when we install VAM server. I install VAM server with the default settings, so you can check the path here, C drive VAM triple W. If you are going to install VAM server in some other drive, this path may vary. And since PHP is a server side scripting language, PHP code cannot run without a web server. So I'm going to save all our PHP files here and run from here through the web browser. Okay, we need to take care of some more things here. Here, uh, you should be able to find PHP my admin. And there, you should be able to see the default username as root without any password here and we when we try to go inside it goes straight inside the administration it means we don't have any password here but if you are going to uh, say connect mysql with php script it's not a good idea uh, to have something without any password for security reasons we need to set password here I'll show you how here you can see something like privileges and inside privilege you'll find user overview and there you'll find root with local host here we got something like edit privileges and when we get inside edit privileges you should be able to find change password. We don't have any password here, so I'm going to set a password. I'm going to give a simple password one, two, three, four, five, six. And we need to retype that again. And then we need to save them. You can see here go. Okay. We get a message something like password has changed successfully. We just set the password. We didn't have password before. I'm going to home now. Okay, you can see here we got root and we tried to get inside. It asked for password because we had set the password successfully. I'll try to log in with one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the password we gave. Yeah, they work just fine. Okay. Uh, from now onwards, I will be posting tutorials on basic concepts of PHP and some advanced concepts like pagination and all. Uh, you can also drop comments if you have any doubts on the respective videos. 
I'll try to answer most of them. And you can also check my website that is vdesignourweb.com. There uh, you can find the link for PHP. And I had already written some of the concepts already written here and you can see on the pages I had highlighted the syntax source codes and all if you need any source code on the tutorial I am posting on YouTube you can check on my website and get them anytime you want okay uh, if you like my videos feel free to subscribe them okay <laughs> thanks for your time guys I'll see you in the next video